Good afternoon, Cyclones. I'm Matt Mosley. And I'm Donovan Kennedy. Our first story comes from the entertainment world, where NBC's nighttime lineup is about to undergo a major overhaul. Current late-night host Jimmy Fallon is set to take over hosting The Tonight Show on February 17th. He will be taking over for current host Jay Leno, who has been host for over 20 years now. Jimmy Fallon will be only the sixth person to host The Tonight Show in its now 60-year run. This change comes just four years after the last major change, when Conan O'Brien replaced Jay Leno in 2009, only to be removed from the position due to low ratings to bring back Jay Leno for several more years. In addition, Fallon's fellow SNL alum Seth Meyers said tearful goodbye on February 1st from the Weekend Update desk, a post he's held since 2006, co-anchoring with Amy Poehler until 2008 and anchoring the desk solo since then. Late Night with Seth Meyers will debut a week after The Tonight Show on February 24th, and Seth Meyers has already announced that his first guest will be former Weekend Update co-anchor and current Parks and Recreation star Amy Poehler. And now to Donovan with a local story. Just up I-72 in Lincoln, a popular roadside attraction is in need of repair after being damaged in the recent run of wintry weather to hit central Illinois. The Lincoln Covered Wagon, which is the largest covered wagon in the world according to the Guinness Book of World Records, was knocked over recently due to 55 mile an hour winds, damaging one wheel and destroying the other. Thankfully, the statue of Abe Lincoln reading while sitting on the front of the wagon has remained unscathed. However, he did lose one side of the book, so he gets about every other page. The wagon in its original state is 24 feet tall and 40 feet long and 5 tons in weight. It was recognized by the Reader's Digest as the number one roadside attraction in the country. Plans are being made to repair the wagon prior to the tourism season, which typically begins in April for the various Lincoln sites in central Illinois. The wagon is insured, though, so money is not an issue. The city of Lincoln is the only city in the United States named for Abraham Lincoln prior to his election as president. When told they were naming the city after him, Lincoln reportedly replied, nothing bearing the name of Lincoln ever amounted to much. And now, to stay in history with Emma Hardy and Mr. Lavin. Now just remember, students, always do your reading. Hello, I'm Emma Hardy, here today with the one and only Mr. Lavin to talk about what happened today in history. What do you have for us today, Mr. Lavin? Well, first of all, good afternoon, my fellow historians. I have a number of cultural events that took place on this day in American history. The first is in 1914, Charlie Chaplin, famous film comedian, introduced his most beloved character who appeared in a number of movies during the 19-teens and 1920s. Uh, can you identify who that character was? We'll save that for next week. In 1949, Joe DiMaggio, the New York Yankees, became one of the highest paid ball players in history when he signed a contract for $100,000. And in 1964, a group of Europeans made their first visit to the United States landing at JFK Airport in New York. Who was this group? All right, well, those are your questions. Tune in next time for the answers and more history. See you then. In the meantime, always do your reading. Wow, that was pretty interesting. Yeah, it went over my head. I, I always do my reading, so. Now we're going over to weird stuff with Ichin Sun. Hi, my name is Ichin Sun, and this is Weird Stuff. This week's topic on weird stuff is weird laws. First up, a weird local laws. In Springfield, it is illegal to toss dwarf while inside a building. Next up, in Chicago, Illinois, it is illegal to fish in your pajamas. Now for weird state laws. It is against the law to eat in any place that is on fire. And the final weird law this week is that it is legal to believe in more than three gods. That's it for this week on Weird Stuff. Back to you, Matt. It was pretty weird. Never that seen was that. a lot of weird stuff. I've never seen that before. Didn't expect that to happen. On behalf of all of us here at the Cyclone Broadcasting Network, thanks for watching. Here are your birthdays of the week, and stay frosty-licious, Cyclones. <laughs>